Okay, so if I don't use that outro now, I'm going to modify the aircraft. The, the propeller aircraft being very posh about it. So what's all attached to this thing? Can I just replace this with a cockpit? And I can put the cockpit on. Stick the canards. Stick the landing gear. And that ladder should be good enough to get them close. Am I going to test it? No. Should I? Yes. Wait, let's at least check the centers of mass and lift. Yeah. Perfect. We actually know that's even worse than it was before. Could I move the canards up even further? I could re-add the batteries and move them further aft. Part clipping, but whatever. There's plenty of space in there if I wasn't too lazy to space it out. Alright. Penguin 1A. Ready for liftoff. Hello everyone, welcome to episode 3 of Even Back. There's no one in this right. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So now we can launch... So we have to get to orbit and then calculate the EVE transfer window, that's fair. Whee! Oh. <laughs> the propellers are... <laughs> what if I turn the brakes on? Yeah, that'll be it. They're producing a lot of drag, but like, I could really get them spinning if I just let them loose. <laughs> they're generating electricity. There are wind turbines. <laughs> This is what we're going to do to solve climate change. We're going to take giant oil-burning rockets and, and launch them so we can get super high-efficiency wind energy <laughs> from the propellers. Oh, help. Um, right. Um, um, okay, this wasn't in the plan. This was not in our renewable energy plan. Help, 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 help. Uh... Prograde. Please? Okay. Um, we're high up enough that it might not be an issue anymore. Uh, and we have plenty of extra fuel in the poodle. No, not, not the poodle stage, the nuclear stages. We we'll add poodle stages on this. So we might not actually have the extra fuel. But anyway, it's going to be alright. I promise. I hope. Uh... Right. Can we point prograde, please? No, even in thin atmosphere. You can't even counteract this thin of an atmosphere, can you? Okay. Brakes on. I don't want those spinning now. Is this still a significant amount of aerodynamic force? I don't think we're going to be able to speed up fast enough to get into orbit. Okay, we might. It'll be very borderline, though. Okay, so now I'm going downwards. Okay, now we're going back up. We've A, burned enough fuel, and B, we're high enough that we're starting to fall fast enough to miss the ground and go up again. Okay, yeah, we're going to make it to orbit. But yeah, that was really iffy. And we're going to be low on fuel, so I might actually have to fly efficiently for once. Let's aim for like 100-ish kilometers. The exact thing doesn't matter. Oh, I went way too high, but whatever. Sure, that'll work. Close enough. Add maneuver. Current orbit. Target Eve. Did I crash the game? Or is it just calculating? Calculating negative 1%. That's not good. Yep, the game crashed. Alright, I might just stop recording for tonight and do that later. Anyway. Hello, everyone. Uh, so, um, you'll notice I'm a bit on edge right now. The thing is, I was just setting up ready to record, and then all of a sudden I get the alert on my phone. Tornado warning. So, uh, it's south of us, uh, but just barely south of us, so uh, I might have to skedaddle. I'm gonna re I'm gonna rename this thing the tornado. Like I don't care about penguin tornado one. Because like you know it has propellers, they spin around like a tornado. Okay, so I've been having issues getting the maneuver node to work. It worked once, but when I deleted it it switched to the MUN again. So let's see what happens if I quick save and quick load. 
Okay, evil work. Okay, now it's working. We'll just need to quick save and quick load. No T minus one. I just had one for like 500 days from now. Like not 500, like 60. Okay, you know what? I'm just I'm gonna install transfer window planner the next time I get a chance. Anyway, I'll just wait until I'll just wait until Eve is lined up. Uh, scary sky. Just a thunderstorm. The tornado is not here. Yeah, okay, there's a good even counter. Then I'll just plain change when I'm there. Alright, so let's start at T minus 2, because that last stage is going to take a while. Oh, too far. We need to start now. Why are these not responding to brakes? <laughs> Unless it's that I have a toggle them on each time I press Z, which would be awful, but like, whatever, it's, it's okay. It does, it's, not, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, I forgot to drop these because I was too busy looking at tornado updates. To be fair, the real life tornado is probably way more important than this tornado. Oh, I need to see something. Okay, so we got a new roof, or we're in the process of getting a new roof, and uh, the heavy rain is reacting weirdly with it. Like, it, I don't think it's anything bad, it's just that, anyway. Okay, back to the game. <laughs> And it looks like our transfer burn is now complete. So now we can port, port. Now we can plot a course correction. Okay, that's low enough. At least I, I assume it's low enough. Anyway, let's go. Try and find a landing spot. Okay, I accidentally warped past it, but whatever, it doesn't matter that much. Oh, we don't have communications connections, so we can't do any of the cool stuff. I'll just wait until I get within relay range to fix any- to fi Ah, funny bone, ow. Ain't nothing funny about it. Okay, we have connection, which means it will certainly have connection on the surface. Lower our periaptus down a little bit. Bright lightning. The triangular network has not desynchronized at all. It's still perfect Illuminati confirmed. I'm so happy. All right, now the moment of truth. Do we have enough fuel in this thing that we can slow it down enough to make it through re-entry without any heat shielding? The answer to that might unfortunately be a big no. Another question is, can we control our touchdown zone enough to like find a good spot? It's like, I want to look around in orbit first. Also, we're not anywhere near the equator, so that's not good, but whatever. What area do I, like, I want to explore with the plane? Because there's no hope to, like, explore a humongous area. We have to stick near a huge plateau, and I don't have the patience. But we're not going to be able to go inland, because a major focus is these islands here. So I want to try and find a high plateau around these mountainous areas. Up, oh, uh, weather radar, radio. Radio. No worries, just a severe thunderstorm warning for our area. Like, I mean, you couldn't tell? <laughs> and I kind of want to try and slow down as fast as possible. Like, I think I should aim for a landing roughly right in this area. Because if you sent vehicles in this area, the planes have the range to get to some of the more geologically interesting areas. This sort of, like, this, the coast, there's probably... A few decent high spots there. Okay, it looks like we're going to dip a bit into the atmosphere on this pass, which is perfectly okay. We can test heat resistance to see how slow we might need to go. We can do radial out and orient the wings like this. So we have maximum drag. How hot are we getting? Not very hot. Just like my face. And then put our periapsis kind of over there. Actually, no, we might be descending too fast. So, how about we go down to like 80, then boost radially outwards so we get more air braking time. 
and then when we are getting close enough burn re full tilt retrograde okay yeah we're getting hot we need to boost up immediately actually yeah I kind of want to land quick enough to investigate that area before heading that way yeah we need to slow down ASAP oh this is danger uh, okay let's put let's go wing first so we have a, a chance of getting through this very is easily enough we'll pick. we don't want it, the solar panel the fragile bits are on this side uh, yeah this is bad we went down way too fast and things might melt I wonder if we could like unlock the propellers if that might slow us down a little bit <laughs> I think we're gonna lose some of these solar panels like the two outer ones maybe yeah I wonder if this is helping like unlocking the propellers like yeah, these two outer solar panels I mean we have excess electrical generation capability like we tested this in Kerbin and it was fine and Eve is closer up oh, we lost one up oh, help 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 we lost two okay we are going slow enough I don't think we'll lose anymore the issue is now that our, now our craft is unbalanced, so I'll have to send an engineer to, uh, where'd we end up? Okay, we can head south that way. So yeah, we're going to have to send an engineer with new panels to reattach them so we have a balanced plane. Or maybe it won't matter, we'll do a test flight now. Uh, anyway, boom, let's nuke Eve. Okay. We are inside Eve's atmosphere at a reasonable pace. 34 kilometers of ground level. So this is this the terrain here is like four kilometers up. So we want to go southwest. So that's south east west. Okay. Because that area looks high over there. Alright, the flight dynamics are probably gonna be different on Eve dimension by altitude we did make visible progress on the map although a lot of that was just falling down due to gravity so we should be able to make it over to the interesting areas just by afk a bit i think we need to go down into the thicker atmosphere to get more performance out of this thing kind of like the propeller blades would be produce more power in a thicker atmosphere we we also have more drag but you know whatever Okay, let's get a look at the terrain. Okay, we're still heading towards the tallest parts. All right, I'm not gonna record all this because that would be so much hard drive space. So I'll update with you when we get closer. Uh, uh, basically, I have looked around. The two tallest mountains around appear to be this one right here and this one right here. And as you can tell, I am scouting this one right here first. It should be at least four kilometers above sea level. And granted, we're not gonna get any like decent like accuracy out of the lander but like you know it's a generally high area to aim for um i just wish i had a way to like plant a flag here i know it's a probe but like pretty steep though but other than that i think this is generally an okay landing site it's just not like if i landed here great it's just that i can't land here very accurately, but 4.5 kilometers ain't bad. This is a bigger spot to land for, so I'm gonna fly down there and see if that's any better. I'm also gonna fly over here, maybe. We'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna check out that nearby mountain to see if it's any better, though. First, like, landing on Eve of the series, like, wow, I, that was like, I didn't even realize it really. Like, yeah, that's our first landing uh, for the entire series on Eve. Sorry if like the, the the arrow overlay is is very jarring, but it's it's really good for tuning my propellers. Oh, this is a really good plateau. Like, I don't know if I can put the lander down that precisely, but this is a really good spot to land at. Okay, so now my goal, I'm gonna land on that thing and measure its height. Uh, but yeah, this is a very good plateau to target, assuming I can like target something that precise. Can I like add a waypoint with Kerbinet? Right, I forgot all about Kerbinet. Curd, Kerbinet. <laughs> Kerbinet access. Mm, refresh waypoint. That's uh, a good landing site. 
glide speed of this thing is so low. This is a good spot to land for. If I if I can be precise enough to land on this plateau, I don't need I don't know if I need to like go anywhere else. Cause like this is a like pretty much everything here is above four kilometers, but it's a pretty small area. Like it would be akin to landing from orbit on the Kerbal Space Center uh, area, like the flat area. But without any like visual reference besides the waypoint. So like, yeah. It'd be a hard thing to land. Plus it's kind of very inclined. So I do want to try and go closer to the equatorial. Anyway. That's working. Ah, uh, so let's go southwest again. Okay, so I know I said I wouldn't come back until something interesting happened, but I just had a genius idea. So you know how like I have a certain amount of accuracy when like like I can land like within say 50 kilometers of a certain area when landing my ship. What if I then took it, refueled it, and then did like a suborbital hop to like a proper takeoff site, like to a proper mountain? Because I can be more accurate if I start near it. So I don't have to land super accurately. I can just find a good tall place, land in the general vicinity of it, and then get up there later. I just have to refuel twice, which isn't a problem, because we have like well over a year between each EVE window. Anyway, that's all. Okay, uh, I'm back. I found this interesting mountain. I'm not going to land, but it's it's a cool mountain. Actually, it's only 4,000 meters, which is like lower than the one over there, so I'm not going to mark it or anything. But I just, it's, it's interesting how it like just pops up from the terrain. It's pretty cool. I'm not a ge I'm not a geologist. Can you tell? All right, I am back. Uh, as you can see by map mode, we are much closer to the equator than we were previously. Probably close enough to like do the. We're still gonna explore more, but as you can see, we have a really high mountain here. Now, granted, uh, I believe the surrounding terrain is much less land or hospitable, but this this uh, slope is rover doable, I guess. And uh, if I assuming I find a flat area up here. Uh, I could easily hop the lander up here. And this is a much higher altitude closer to the glider. So this is, assuming there's a flat area at the top of this hill to land the lander on, it is a much better uh, landing site. This is at least 4,900 meters, maybe five kilometers. Yeah, not five kilometers, but like really close to five kilometers. It's not flat, but it's also not hilly. Uh, so, there's also a slightly lower peak over here that looks flatter, so I'll I'll, I'll check that one too. LS two for landing site two, four nine three five waypoint. I can't tell if this is the right mountain. I might have overshot it. Ah, uh, oh, this is bad. Help, mayday, mayday. Ah, uh, not good. Flight dynamics red. Ah, uh, okay, good. We float. Okay, we're good. Whew. Ah, uh, note to self. Uh, don't stall this. But I recovered. It's fine. Uh, already this this mountain is looking uh, much flatter than its neighbor, although it is about 500 meters shorter. I find it amusing how it can touch down at like 14 meters per second because EVE's atmosphere is so thick, and we're not even at sea level yet. I don't want to explore too much because that would take forever, but I don't want to explore too little because like there's a chance that there's an awesome landing site nearby, and I just I haven't seen it. No, I'll finish this outcropping, go over here, then maybe do this other two if I don't find them there. Because I really want to find one closer to the ocean. That would be great. I don't think there's going to be one. Uh, we may have found our best mountain, but really, what are the chances that the best mountains are like the first two we check? This is my current location. I think this one might be the tallest one we found yet. Okay, the surrounding terrain is not hot, is, is like not suitable to land on, and I might not even be able to get a heavy rover up it. Like, the ISRU rover is going to be really heavy. So there's almost no way I'm going to be able to get a rover up there. It's flat at the top. It's a good, like, space to land and set the base. Like, I can land the lander here. Like, it's it's a nice target. And there's a nice, like, slope up here for rovers to climb up. So this will be LS5. And then I'll go, like, search closer to the water. Or whatever the oceans on EVE are. The liquid explodium. Alright, so I'm coming up on what might become landing site 6. Well, it's not, like, flat, but there's got to be some flat spots. Flat-ish. Good ramp. Like, this is looking really good. 
like this is close to the equator it's got altitude it's got a decently flat spot it's got landing locations around yeah i'm feeling very good about landing site six ls7 4900 good i am in love with how easy this thing is to like land but like i am surprised i have not had to load a single quick save yet like i have not crashed this except for accidentally like breaking two solar panels off on re-entry but that was more due to bad planning than than uh than the design of the craft like i just just i the original name for this was the penguin because i didn't think it was going to fly but it, it's it's beautiful well it looks like i spoke too soon I went to get something to eat. Ooh, lightning. I went to get something to eat, and I came back to this. But it tells us that this mountain is definitely not as tall as we thought it was. And there's no really good rover path up to it either. Except for maybe this side. Anyway, we don't have to go here again. And I'll leave this running for like half an hour, because it's going to take a long time to get over there. After a certain point, I'll have to land it for night, because, you know, this thing is solar powered. Okay, quick update. So I got bored and decided to see how high I can go. I'm at 15 kilometers and rising. I can see the ocean for the first time in a while. Uh, and I've decided I'm going to try and fly all the way to these, what look like mountainous areas up here. Because if we can find a landing site like around here, that would be awesome. Because there's a tons of islands like right for exploration right there. 90. 18 kilometers. I'm gonna pick out a random tiny island. Like, how about this one? There is like a 99.9% .9 chance that nobody in the history of Kerbal Space Program has ever landed here before. In fact, nobody else probably knows this island even exists. Maybe no one's even seen it with their own eyes. I would kind of expect the Kerbal Space Program community to have like a consolidated database of like islands. Maybe I should start that like naming geographic areas on Kerbin, like crowdsourcing them. Look at how slow I can glide this low down to sea level. Oh, and I hit the, hit the ocean. Penguin Islands. I'm gonna try and make it to that mountain in the distance before uh, I time warp to the next day, maybe a bit further depending on how it goes. I've just noticed that my solar panel and RTG capacity can no longer uh, produce more energy than I'm using. There's a good rover thing up to it, and it's flat and big at the top, so I might have a chance of actually making that from orbit if I'm really lucky. The only problem is it's not tall enough. I tend to overestimate how tall things are from far away, but underestimate how tall things are when I'm right next to them, I've been noticing. So we'll call these ELS for Eastern Launch Landing Site. So if I had to choose one right now, I would choose uh, Launch Site 6. There's also Launch Site 7, which is slightly further east and more hospitable. But I'm going to head over this way, and I'll see if I can make it there before sundown. It's looking like it's going to peak out at above 4 kilometers, and even better, it's looking like there are even taller mountains beyond this. That mountain over there to the left looks very promising. Okay, I got to that super high looking mountain, and excellent news, it appears to be over 5 kilometers. Even more excellent news, the one next to it, at least from a distance, appears to be similar in height. So they're probably both over 5 kilometers. Which means, that one's closer to the equator. If that one's nicer, but slightly shorter, I'm going to take that one. Not only is this the tallest mountain we've found, it's also really close to where we need it. And honestly, one of those might even be taller, like... ELS3, good. Okay, then I'll fly over there, and I, for real though, this will be the last flight I'll do tonight. I've said that like five times now. Imagine if I had stopped at like the first good launch site I found, like, what if I'd stopped at launch site six? I'd have to fly like all the way over here each time I wanted to explore the islands. Granted, I'll have the rocket plan for that. Wait, it's only episode three. I already recorded the part of episode four, so you don't know about the rocket plane yet. But we should probably throttle down. We're at like 50 electric charge, 40 electric charge, probably at least 5,600 meters tall. Which granted, the tallest peaks on E were like 7,500. That restricts me to like one landing site, which is probably the most explored place on Eve ever. The tallest mountain on Eve has been done to death. I'd be willing to bet that, like, most of the mountains I've landed on this mission, nobody's mount nobody's landed on before. 
Like, yes, there's a lot of Kerbal Space Program players. 1% of them, like, go interplanetary. And then if you go to EVE, like, just with a dumb parachute probe, your, your likelihood of landing on a mountain is very low or not. You have to, like, build a plane and look for mountains. Like, that's a very narrow band of, like, emissions. So it's just really weird, like, going where no man has gone before. And chances are, nobody will ever land on those mountains ever again. Like, it's weird. I'm the only one ever to go here. Nobody will be here before me, and nobody will be here after me. And an excellent view. Up, and we're out of electricity. Help. Ugh, no. No, we lost a blade. When was our last quick save? No. It was all the way over here? Well, this one's 5600 too, so. This one and that one looked pretty much the same. This one had a better view, and it's closer to the equator. This one's closer to the interesting stuff and might be a bit easier to get to, but not as good of a view, I don't think. Although that view, if we could get something closer to that side, would be great. One of these candidate sites will probably be our launch and landing site for the main lander and base. Assuming that none of these are higher, I might check those off camera, but I'm done flying this thing around. It's been like two hours of just flying, at least maybe three hours. Uh, thank you for watching. Ultimate Steve, out.